Hello, my friends. Puzzle time again. Today, we have a letter M. Can you cut it into seven parts? And use the seven parts to construct a square? Rotating and flipping are both allowed. Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. As always, to construct a square, we need to ask about the size or the side length of the square. To this end, we first cut this letter into several parts, and construct some shapes that are easy to count. We can cut it in this way, and reconstruct it in this way. So now, the pattern is a combination of three rectangles. The total size of the two rectangles on the left and right are 2 times 10, and times 2 again. The one in the middle is 4 times 6. So the total size is 64. Obviously, the side length of the target square is 8. Now, let's try to cut this letter, and reconstruct an 8 by 8 square. Before trying to cut it into 7 parts, let's first show how to cut it into 8 parts, and construct the square, because cutting it into 8 parts is very straightforward. And there are in fact huge number of ways to cut it into 8 parts, but we will only show one of them here. One principle to follow is that, we had better keep some parts uncut as big as possible. We are now trying to keep an 8x8 grids from the top left side, and put it into the square first. There is a small triangle left, which seems match here very well, so that we do not need to further cut it. Until now, there are still a lot of ways to follow. Since we notice there are four triangle regions, which we have to get something from the original letter to match, so we cut the remaining part in this way, in order to obtain four triangles. And we put the four triangles in the square. And at last, we put the two small squares in good places. So we are done. And cutting it into eight parts is so straightforward, then how about if we try to cut it into seven parts? The principle is still that we keep some parts uncut as big as possible. But this time, we keep this big part from the bottom left side. The advantage is that we do not need to cut this small triangle part anymore. And we put it into the square. The remaining part on the top left is something we have to address, and we definitely don't want to further cut it. So we put it here. Symmetry is always beautiful. So we put the top right part here. Now, again, we have four triangle regions left, so we cut the remaining part into four triangles, and finally construct the square with these seven parts. Cheers! Thank you for watching, and see you next time.